I'm at Arby's in Calhoun, Georgia on Highway 53 and I-75. Let's head to the drive-thru and see about getting our food today. Yeah. Let's head on out to the studios of Joe is Hungry. Welcome to the studios and food laboratories of Joe is Hungry. Today we're going to evaluate Arby's Petite filet sandwiches. They've released them yesterday. They have two different versions of it. The first version is called the steak bacon melt sandwich. It consists of ciabatta bread, tomatoes, leaf lettuce, pepper bacon, petite filet steak, and roast garlic butter. The second sandwich is a garlic butter steak sandwich. It too has the ciabatta bread. It has onions, cheddar cheese, pepper bacon, again, a petite filet steak, and last but not least, steakhouse ranch dressing. In this segment of Joe is Hungry Food Reviews, we're gonna do the first in a series of truth and advertising on fast food. The first one we're gonna take a look at is the steak bacon melt sandwich. Here's what it's looking like, and here's what it is supposed to look like. The second is the garlic butter steak sandwich. This is what it looks like, and this is supposed to be what it looks like. I'll let you be the judge of that. We'll see which one comes out on top. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is weigh them in. According to their website, the steak bacon melt sandwich should weigh in at 9.7 ounces. I'm gonna put them on my very accurate refrigerant scales and see how much it actually weighs. Here we have our sandwich. So let's take this thing out of its diaper and throw it on the scales and see what it actually weighs. It weighs in at 7.5 ounces. According to their website, the sandwich should weigh 9.7 ounces. So hey, a little short on that one. This is the garlic butter steak sandwich and we're gonna weigh it according to the website stats at Arby's website. This should weigh 9.3 ounces. It weighs in at 7.5 ounces. Again, short from what the rated weight is on the website. Now for the next part of the review, let's take a closer look at each sandwich. We have the bacon cheese melt on this side, and then we have the garlic butter steak sandwich on this side. Uh, they're both made on ciabatta bread. Ciabatta bread is an Italian bread. It's kind of thick. It was the Italian's answer to the French baguette when it came out and took up the market shares. See my video on Subway's ciabatta bread sandwich. Let's take a look at sandwich number one. We take the top off. We have one, two, three slices of bacon. I can see that garlic butter. I can smell it. This is what our meat looks like. Then we have two slices of tomato. Some more salad dressing that actually looks pretty appetizing. The garlic butter steak sandwich. We're gonna pop the top on that. We've got pepper bacon, steakhouse sauce, fried onions, and then we have cheese, and of course, more sauce. Probably a good choice that they use the ciabatta bread because anything else would become soggy. I'd like to say both of these ring up for $6.59 a piece. Many of you may not know what a petite filet is. I can draw on my experience in a past life of being a meat cutter, a grocery store meat cutter. A petite filet is the same muscle group that you would use when you're taking a cow apart that would make like the filet mignon in a ribeye, except it's closer to the chuck portion where the meat is beginning to get a little less tender and a little bit more fascia in it. It is a little cheaper cut of meat. It's actually most times just as good. Enough of the uh, meat trivia. Let's move on to the Joe Bite test. I'm going to clear my palate with Diet Coke, although some of you don't think that it actually works. It's really hard for me to give up Diet Coke. I'm not able to face Diet Coke withdrawal yet at this point in my life. Good deal. The petite steak, steak and bacon sandwich. 
It's got a little bit of heft to it, a little bit of weight. I can taste the meat. The meat is actually pretty tender. The bacon I'm not even tasting. It's getting lost somewhere in the garlic butter and the dressing. And the ciabatta bread, to me, doesn't have the flavor of, say, a French baguette. I think it needs a little more seasoning. I probably would have done well to get some barbecue sauce or some sort of horseradish sauce or something to put on it to give it a little bit more flavor. So in the flavor department, it's okay, but it's not lighting my socks on fire. Time for Joe Bite Test. Number two. Mmm, this is a more wholesome sandwich. A little bit of Coke. <clears throat> well, sandwich number two is definitely improving from sandwich number one. Still, the bacon is sort of getting lost in the mix of stuff. I really can't even, I can barely taste the bacon in the sandwich number one. I couldn't even tell there was bacon there except I knew it was there. The addition of the cheddar cheese really gave a lot more body to the sandwich, a lot more fullness. The garlic butter is always a hit with me. The onions gave it kind of a better background flavor, although the onions aren't really standing out or overwhelming either. Mostly what I'm tasting is the garlic butter, the meat, a hint of bacon. I think they may have been better to use something other than ciabatta bread. Find something else that won't fall apart when you get it wet. Trying the bacon on its own. Really, the bacon doesn't have a real true... I can tell it's bacon, but it's not the traditional good and salty bacon that I'm used to. So the bacon really doesn't have a lot of favor. It's not a real strong bacon. As you know, my rating scale is one through 10. Nine being pretty much the best. Anything above nine is a lifetime experience, something you're gonna remember for decades. So obviously, there's hardly anything ever makes that. And of course, one being the bottom of the barrel, something that you probably couldn't keep down. Um, for the size of the sandwich, uh, for six and a half dollars, in my opinion, a little bit overpriced. It might have been better in the $5 range uh, for the volume you get, the weight you get. The appearance is actually isn't that bad. But you mix all this together, and we're going to give them a score of about 6.8. Uh, I took off a little bit for the value. Um, the taste wasn't really well defined. I wasn't tasting the bacon. Uh, I was getting the garlic butter in there and the meat. The cheddar cheese kind of helped this sandwich out and gave it a little bit more body. This would be the third Arby's that I've gone to in my area. It's on Highway 53 in Calhoun, Georgia, just as you come in town. The staff there is excellent. Obviously, they can't control everything that the Arby's throws at them, uh, and they're following their standards as best they can. And uh, thank you for uh, making my sandwiches day for this review. If you found this interesting, if you found this informative, if it made you hungry, subscribe to the channel, support the channel, and I will see you in the next video. I want to give a big shout out to my friends at Arby's in Highway 53. You make all the rest of them look bad.